गुड इवनिंग वेलकम टू साउथ एशिया न्यूज लाइन आम गीताशा शर्मा हेर आर द टॉप स्टोरीज वी आर टाकिंग फॉर यू ऑन मंडे द सेवेंथ ऑफ ऑगस्ट मिलीटेंट किल्ड इन एनकाउंटर विद सिक्योरिटी फोर्सेज इन इंडियन कश्मीर Security tightened in Kabul after suicide attacks. And residents across India celebrate sibling festival. And now for all the details. A militant was gunned down by security forces in an encounter in Pulwama district of Indian Kashmir early Monday morning. Meanwhile, in separate incident, security forces also launched a cordon and search operation in a village of the district following specific inputs about presence of terrorists. Security forces on Monday killed a militant belonging to Pakistan-based outfit Lashkar-e-Toiba in Pulwama district of Indian Kashmir. Acting on specific intelligence input, security forces laid a cordon and launched a search operation in a village of Avantipura town when militants opened fire on them, triggering a gun battle. The militant, identified as Umar, was killed in the encounter and an AK-47 rifle was recovered from him. Meanwhile, two other militants managed to escape in an injured condition. We had a specific uh, intelligence input about presence of two to three terrorists uh, in Sambura village of uh, police district of Antipur. A uh, garden was laid in the night and uh, uh, the encounter ensued in which uh, one Pakistani terrorist was uh, belonging to LET was killed. Uh, Recently, security forces have gunned down four militants, including top LET commander Abu Dujana in the province. India accuses Pakistan of infiltrating militants across the de facto border to carry out attacks, a charge Islamabad denies. Moving on to news from Afghanistan, the Afghan border forces said that Pakistani military has started building dozens of checkposts at points on the zero zone along the Durand line. Durand line is the porous border between Pakistan and Afghanistan which was established in 1893 and has remained a bone of contention since 1949. The Afghan border police officials have said that Pakistan military is building dozens of checkposts in Lokman and Jahangir villages of Kandar province. Afghanistan considers the villages as part of its own territory. This comes months after Afghan security forces engaged in a deadly battle with the Pakistani forces in the area after Pakistan military tried to conduct a survey in the villages. <laughs> According to international and border laws, military personnel of both the countries are not allowed to stay within 1.24 miles of the zero zone along the Durand line. They should be positioned 1.24 miles away from that line. However, after the establishment of the checkpost by the Pakistani border forces, Afghan border forces have also been moved to the zero line. Staying on to news from Afghanistan, Afghan authorities are tightening security in the central area of Kabul housing foreign embassies and government offices after a string of suicide attacks that have caused hundreds of casualties. After a string of suicide attacks that have rocked Kabul city and caused hundreds of casualties, the Afghan authorities are tightening security in the central area of capital Kabul, housing foreign embassies and government offices. Two months after a truck bomb killed at least 150 people on May 31st, a series of scanners and cameras have appeared at key intersections around the city. بشكل اقدامات عملي ريكارد غرفتم كي ولويات دادم ساعات الدبلوماتيك كي در مرحلة اول بايت ساعات الدبلوماتيك 
یک امنیت بهتر و خوبتر و مطمئنتر برای گرفته شوه و به می ترتیب این انکشاف پیدا کنه در شهر کابل و بالاخره دروازه و بالاخره تاول سوالیه را The new measures come as the U.S. administration wrestles with formulating a new strategy for Afghanistan to topple the Taliban insurgents. Though Kabul has never had a formal green zone, over the years, the center of the Afghan capital has become an increasingly militarized zone of armed checkpoints and blast walls. Meanwhile, at least 40 civilians have been killed following the collapse of Mirza Olang village at Saripul province. The incident took place on Sunday evening after the insurgents seized control of the area, said Saripul governor Mohammad Zahir Wadat. Meanwhile, with picturesque landscapes and cultural diversity, Gilgit Baltistan is the ultimate tourist destination. However, the decades long illegal occupation by Pakistan government has brought the entire region to the brink. Locals blame Islamabad's unwillingness to develop the tourism sector as the reason for its downfall. The remote Himalayan region of Gilgit Baltistan is blessed with breathtaking beauty. However, Islamabad's indifference in developing the tourism sector of the region has made it out of bounds for the tourists. The Giza district of the region is home to diverse flora and fauna and features stunning valleys and crystal blue lakes. But the lack of infrastructure and other transport facilities serves as major hindrance for even the domestic tourists who are left disappointed. जो टूरिज्म है उसको प्रमोशन के हवाले से वहाँ पे कोई ए, काम नहीं हो रहे हैं सड़कों की आप बात करें यहाँ पे गिजर आप देखो लाखों जो सियाह गलगित बल्लिस्तान आते हैं वो गिजर नहीं आते हैं बहुत कम आते हैं ना आने के बराबर क्योंकि इसकी वजह ये है कि गिलगित से लेके जो खास तौर पर गाकूज तक का जो सड़क है वो तकरीबन सत्तर किलोमीटर है उसमें दो घंटे लगते हैं तो उसकी मेंटेनेंस के वाले से अभी तक कोई काम वहां पे हमें नजर नहीं आता है जिस लोकल से विद प्रॉपर पॉलिसीज एंड प्लानिंग बाय द पाकिस्तान गवर्नमेंट द टूरिज्म सेक्टर कुड हैव गिवन अ मेजर बूस्ट टू द इकॉनमी ऑफ द इलीगली ऑक्युपाइड रीजन इलीगली ऑक्युपाइड बाय पाकिस्तान मोर देन 6 डेकेड्स अगो गिलगित बाल्टिस्तान रीजन हैज रिमेंड बैकवर्ड्स एंड अंडर डेवलप्ड ड्यू टू द अपैथी ऑफ द फेडरल गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इस्लामाबाद Moving on to news from Nepal, Nepal's agitating Rashtri Janata Party Nepal on Sunday held Central Committee meeting to discuss whether to participate in the upcoming phase of local level elections in province 2. It has divided around 1000 participants into 30 groups to discuss the matter. Nepal's Rashtri Janata Party Nepal on Sunday held Central Committee meeting in capital Kathmandu. Apart from discussing an upcoming poll schedule for September, they also discussed the party's statute, manifesto and regulations. Senior party leaders Rajendra Mahato and Anil Jha were united on not joining the election without amending the constitution. Some leaders, however, expressed fears of possible split if the party failed to embrace the upcoming election as part of its ongoing struggle for getting the Madesi people their rights. The Central Committee meeting is expected to make final decisions on the issue very soon and also decide further over the issue of amending the charter of the party for the participation in the polls. A Bangladeshi suspected by the Indian police of being involved in terror activities in his country was arrested on Sunday. The suspect allegedly confessed to being a member of an Islamic extremist group believed to be behind the recent attacks and murders of atheist bloggers in Bangladesh, said a police official. Indian police have arrested a Bangladeshi terror suspect who was living illegally in India's northern Uttar Pradesh province, said a senior officer on Sunday. Acting on a tip-off, police raided a village in Muzaffarnagar district of the province and arrested Abdullah al-Mamon. Abdullah allegedly confessed to be a member of the Ansarullah Bangla team, an Al-Qaeda-inspired Islamic extremist group believed to be behind the recent attacks and murders of atheist bloggers in Bangladesh. Jila Muzaffarnagar me raid ki aur wahan se Abdullah naam ke vyakti ko uthaya. Giraftari ke dauran aur talashi ke dauran uske yahan paas se kai aapatti janak cheeze mili jisme ki farji mohre, ID aadi mili hai uske paas se. Gehen pustaj pe usne itna bataya ki main Faizan naam ke vyakti ke liye kaam karta hoon aur Ansarullah Bangla team ka main sadasya hoon usse juda hoon. 
The police also raided the residence of Abdullah's handler, Faizan, in neighboring Deoband town, but he managed to escape. Abdullah was living in Muzaffarnagar since 2011 and frequently traveled to Saharanpur and Deoband towns in particular. Police has summoned three more people for questioning in this case who were being interrogated. The auspicious sibling festival of Raksha Bandhan was celebrated across India with fervor on Monday. The festival celebrates the love between brothers and sisters. Sisters tie a decorative sacred thread on the wrist of her brother who promises to protect her. Women and children tied sacred threads or rakhis on the wrist of Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Monday on the occasion of Raksha Bandhan or the Sibling Festival. Prime Minister Modi also met widows from northern Vrindavan town at his official residence in New Delhi who tied rakhis on his wrist. <laughs> In India, Raksha Bandhan is celebrated to symbolize the strong bond between the brothers and sisters and the love and affection shared between them. On their part, the brother pledges to protect his sister's honor and presents her gift as a token of the bonding. The festival is celebrated on the full moon day of the Hindu month of Shravan in India. Children also tied rakhis on the wrist of Indian President Ramnath Govind and his wife Savita Govind on the occasion. Meanwhile, women near the Atari border in northern Punjab province tied rakhis on the wrist of soldiers of paramilitary border security force or BSF to celebrate the auspicious festival and make them feel at home while on duty. हमारी भारत के अलग-अलग प्रांतों से बच्चियां आई हैं और हमारे जवानों के पास उनके हौसला अफजाई के लिए सिमिलर सीन्स वर आल्सो सीन एट द इंडो बांग्लादेश बॉर्डर इन नॉर्थ ईस्ट इन शिलोंग सिटी एज वुमेन एंड गर्ल्स टाइड राखीज ऑन द रिस्ट ऑफ बीएसएफ सोल्जर्स वेल दैट्स द वे इट वाज इन साउथ एशिया दिस इवनिंग बिफोर वी कंक्लूड द टॉप स्टोरीज वंस अगेन Militants killed in an encounter with security forces in Indian Kashmir. Security tightened in Kabul after suicide attacks. And residents across India celebrate sibling festival. Now our viewers can watch the show on SouthAsianewsline.com. You can also visit us on Facebook.com slash Newsline and follow us on Twitter at Newsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We'll see you same time tomorrow. Good night.